We've been relying heavily on the localized electron model. We've been doing Lewis structures, we've been drawing Vesper shapes, and we've been talking about orbitals overlapping. But there are some issues with localized electron model. It's not perfect. First, if electrons are local, that means they're not moving around from one atom to another. So localized electron model has a really hard time dealing with resonance, where electrons can rotate around as pi bonds and the double bonds move from atom to atom to atom. Localized electron model doesn't deal well with radicals, because LEM depends on pairs of electrons. And radicals with their odd number of electrons will always have a lone electron hanging out. The hybridization suggested by localized electron model is also a bit problematic. There is more and more experimental evidence coming in that's calling into question whether hybridization is really a thing or not. This is particularly true when dealing with hybridization of d orbitals. Some of the predictions made by hybridization aren't bearing out in the lab. So much so that the college board doesn't ask about hybridization anymore when dealing with expanded octets and the AP exam. So the AP exam only deals with SP, SP2, and SP3 hybridization. It stays away from the d orbitals altogether.